Magdalene of Canossa, a life for God and for the poor. Once upon a time in Verona, Italy, on the 1st March 1774, a baby girl was born in a rich and powerful family. She was the daughter of Marquis Octavius and Teresa Zluha. She was the third of six children. She grew up to be a loving and caring child, loved by her family and everyone around her. At the very young age of five, Magdalene experienced a great loss. Her much-loved father died in a geological expedition. Two years later, Magdalene's mother remarried and left her in Uncle Jerome's hand. But through these painful events and illness, the Lord guided Magdalene towards unforeseen paths on which she sets out. Moved by the love of Jesus crucified and sorrowful virgin mother, at the age of 17, Magdalene responded to the cry of the poor, hungry for food, instruction, understanding and the word of God. She planned to devote her life and twice tried her vocation at a Carmel. However, the Holy Spirit urged her to take a different path, to dedicate herself exclusively to those in greatest need. Our Lady shows her in a vision the path to follow. Catechism classes, charity, schools for poor girls and visits to hospitals. On May 18, Magdalene leaves Canosa Palace to the poorest district of Verona and joins her companions and the girls wait for her with open arms to be the mother of a big family all dedicated to the good of the people. She began with what she knew in her heart to be the will of God, serve the neediest persons with the heart of God. For years she worked among the poor and sick in hospitals and in their homes and also among the abandoned girls. Magdalene's active and fruitful life ended when she was 61 years old. She died in Verona with her daughters around her on the 10th of April 1835. Today, through her daughters and her sons, she carries on her mission in the world.